Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Nigel Farage is rallying an army of disaffected voters, channeling their anger and frustration, a top Tory has claimed. Ex-Minister Paul Scully admitted the upcoming election is a lost cause for his party and that sensible heads will be needed to pick up the pieces after July 4th. He also laid into Rishi Sunak for not waiting until November to go to the polls, as he argued the decision played right into the hands of the Reform UK leader. He told the Suns never mind the ballots. If it had been a later election, Nigel Farage would have been involved in Donald Trump's campaign. Mr. Scully, who is not standing as an MP, insisted that hysteria surrounding the Brexit champion will not necessarily translate into an election result. But he conceded, it's clearly not going to be good for us because Nigel Farage is in touch with the zeitgeist. It's a disaffection. He's basically the right-wing version of the Lib Dems. Actually they're not going to be in government, but they're corralling disaffected people. Watch our channel's daily Never Mind the Ballots Election Countdown show on our YouTube channel here. Every weekday Sun political editor Harry Cole brings you the latest news and analysis from the election campaign trail. The former London MP went on, he has tapped into that zeitgeist. He has tapped into that disaffection. He is talking to them. He is talking to them, the voters. He doesn't have solutions for them. But he is channeling that anger. It comes after Mr. Farage addressed a Birmingham rally on Sunday as he attempted to move past a racism row that has engulfed reform. He attracted a 4,500-strong crowd and was welcomed on stage by fireworks and cheers in scenes rarely seen at UK political events. Asked why he would have preferred a November election, Mr. Scully referenced the PM's disastrous general election announcement outside number 10 under the pouring rain. He said, We surprised the umbrella holder. Clearly, if you are doing that, you are probably getting something wrong. Admitting defeat, Mr. Scully added, We have got three days left, and we have just got to get on with the job of actually making sure we get local champions that can provide that strong opposition. I think for me, I fear the election is lost. Asked by our political editor Harry Cole what will come next for the Tories, he said, We need sensible heads to reconstruct the party. And it's not a matter of swinging to one side or another. If you look at the polls, Around 50% go towards reform and 50% go to labor and Lib Dems. So if you swing one way ideologically without getting the competence and the unity right, then you just end up dripping to the other side. Speaking to our channel at his rally in Birmingham, Mr. Farage insisted his conscience is clear, and the Tories have only themselves to blame if Sir Keir Starmer wins by a landslide. He also dismissed claims that his return to lead reform had paved the way to a labor supermajority. He said, if I'd gone to the Bahamas and fished for a month, which was very tempting, the Tories were screwed. They've done it to themselves. They've broken trust. The Conservatives have not delivered Brexit. 5.5 million men and women out there running small businesses feel totally betrayed. Millions of us who've wanted lower immigration numbers have seen 2.5 million people go from the last two years. You know the Tories have betrayed Brexit.